Now, it's time for the best coverage of high school football in the Valley. This is the best local sports show with sports director Blake Arthur and sports reporter Kenji Ito. It is that time. Another week of high school football headlined by an all-local cross-league showdown between Shadow Hills and Desert Hot Springs. Would the Golden Eagles continue to soar or would they be grounded by the Knights? Plus, La Quinta and Rancho Mirage, two of the top teams in our Valley, both at home against out-of-town squads. We got highlights, scores, and more from those games. It is week four of the high school football season on the Best Local Sports Show. And it's coming at you right now. Golden Eagle Football. You're watching High School Football on the Best Local Sports Show. Go Rattlers! You're watching the Best Local Sports Show. Let's go, let's go. Let's go Rattlers! Let's go! Welcome into the Week 4 edition of the Best Local Sports Show. I'm Sports Director Blake Arthur. Kenji Ito will join the show here in a bit. And first and foremost, how about this new set, huh? Pretty awesome. What was not awesome was the poor air quality from the fires. That was the story this week. We had three games canceled, one game postponed. It was a shuffle with the schedule all week. But the game at the top remained the same. Shadow Hills and Desert Hot Springs, two local teams going toe-to-toe -to -toe on the west side. What a game this was. Roy Provost and the Golden Eagles coming out like a ring walk. Desert Hot Springs trying to get the 4-0. Shadow Hills came in as their best opponent to date. You knew the Knights were going to be a tough test. They wanted this one. And this was a defensive battle. Shadow Hills on offense, but check out the play on defense by DHS. Tip drill, Seth Silva. Big play for the Golden Eagles. Turnover there, but no points to show for it for the Golden Eagles. So, more defense from Desert Hot Springs. Pedro Trujillo is picked off yet again. This time it's Adolfo Garcia making the play for the DHS defense. But yet again, no points as a result. No points to show for it. However, this was a heck of a play. I mean, this was awesome. Jalen Turner scrambling around, avoiding the sack, just trying to survive. Chucks the deep ball to Donovan Thornton, and Thornton somehow comes down with it. Number five. He is a special player. Huge game for DHS, but again, no points. Game was scoreless until late in the fourth. Shadow Hills gets on the board. Noah Fajardo runs it in. It's 7-0 Knights. Final chance for Desert Hot Springs late in the fourth, going deep. But Brandon Pepper says, nah, -uh, not on my watch. Interception to seal the game and the victory. Wow, what a football game. Heck of an effort from both sides. You hate to see any team lose, but Shadow Hills credit them. They get a hard-fought shutout victory on the road. 7-0 the final. The Knights knock off the Golden Eagles, giving them their first loss of the season. We knew we were in for a tough game. Uh, defensively, we, man, we shined out there. Uh, we, we let them down on offense. You know, we, we just could not get in a the rhythm. They're a solid team on defense. They, they, really, they really stood strong. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're going to overcome this, and we're going to keep working our butts off. Congratulations to Shadow Hills, head coach Roy Provost from DHS Class Act. LD Matthews, a Rancho Mirage, he used to be at Desert Hot Springs. Now he's leading the Rattlers. Heck of a job with that team, defending DEL champs, hosting Ramona. Rattlers with the ball, Jeremiah Williams gets the touch and turns it into a touchdown. 67 yards for six and make it six, nothing. More Rattlers, this time on defense, the other Jeremiah. Jeremiah Johnson, loose football, he says, give me that, scoops it up and he returns it all the way to the house to make it 12-0. Rattlers having some issues in the PAT two-point conversion game. Down 12 for Ramona. The Rams would capitalize after Sincere Tolbert rumbles and tumbles his way into the end zone. We got a football game, 12-7. Rancho Mirage still in front. After a field goal by Ramona, Rancho back on offense. The Rattlers, they feed the hot hand. Why not? Number 25, Jeremiah Williams again. I mean, this guy could not be stopped as Rancho increases their lead to nine. It's a 19-10 game, but Ramona would break late like Seabiscuit. Cody Shinar keeps the option, scores to make it 27-26, and that's how it would end. Rattlers, oh wow, they lose a heartbreaker at home. Rancho falls to two and two on the year. Wow, we are just getting started with the show. So coming up, we hit the east side of town, both Coachella Valley and Indio at home this week. The Arabs look to keep it rolling, while the Rajas, they try to get their first win of the year. Plus, LQ what what, LQ you know. La Quinta looks to stay undefeated on the season. Blackhawks at home against Sultana out of Hesperia. 
It's week four high school football on the best local sports show. We're back right after this. Hey, you're watching the best local sports show. Hey, this is Juan with the Rogers. We're watching the best sports show in the Valley, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hungry. He's back hungry now. Channel 3 News, the number one desert sports <laughs> leader. Welcome back to the Best Local Sports Show, week four of high school football. We're going to get to CV and Indio here in a second, but we start with La Quinta. And look, the Blackhawks have looked like the black shirts. Shout out Nebraska football, go Big Red. But seriously, La Quinta has looked really good, led by their defense, which has been stout, allowing an average of seven points in their first two victories. Good chance to get to 3-0 and at home against an inferior opponent. La Quinta has one of the best entrances to a football game. The American flags, their colors of, of uniform, the maroon and the navy. It just aesthetically is beautiful. Early on, this is James Madden Ruberg. And with a name like Madden, you, you got to think he's good at football, right? <laughs> he is, and he's only a sophomore. Big run there, and then they go back to the Berg. Ruberg punches it in. He runs hard. He's like, doesn't even have gloves, no eye black, no nothing. He's just a football player. He's in for the touchdown, and LQ's going to go for two. It's Ansley, Roman Ansley, brother of Tommy Ansley. Dad is also an LQ coach. So, you know, the bloodlines are there for the Ansley family. They're just athletes, good people as well. Defense, I mentioned it at the top. LQ making some plays and interception here, and that gave the ball right back to the offense, and they would go to work. Guess who? The Berg, Ruberg, number zero on his Jersey, uh, you know, it, maybe because he, he wants to humble himself and just keep working because he's scoring a ton of points. And then defense, Peyton Reynolds, the pick six. La Quinta defeats Sultana 29-8. Blackhawks stay undefeated on the season. 3-0 on the year. Looking good. Shout out Wes Williams, LQ teacher now and does a great job for us, helping us with the video. Wes, you're the best. We miss you helping us out, but you know you're on to bigger and better things. You're the man. Hey, Valley on Valley action. Coachella Valley taking on Palo Verde Valley out of Blythe here in week four. Yellow Jackets winless on the season. And well, in the highlights, you're gonna see why. I say that with all due respect. And uh, Palo Verde Valley, they just had a rough night. I mean, look at Aaron Ramirez. It's like a video game. I mean, he's all over the place. Just a couple of fans getting in the shot there. That's fine, they're enjoying the game and we're celebrating. And then look at this one. Calderon to his man, Mikey Rodriguez. I mean, this highlight here is just touchdown after touchdown after touchdown after touchdown. Coachella Valley really rolled. Ramirez had a bunch of scores. Daniel Romero would get in on the fun. I mean, this team is, is poised to compete for a league title in the Desert Valley League. We'll see what they do, but they roll no problem over Palo Verde Valley. 54 zip, Arabs three and one on the year. They're at Central in El Centro next week. Winless Indio hosting Winless Rialto. Someone's going to get their first win. Both teams at 0-3. Indio's defense would step up early, forcing the fumble here. That gives the ball to the Rajas on offense. And I got to admit, I love those blue unis. We usually see the Rajas in the red tops and different helmets, but I like the blue and white trim. It's a good look for them. And they came out looking good in all phases of the football game. Jones, the quarterback here, Daniel Jones, gonna find Michael Silva for the first down. Nice gain right there in the same drive. Jones rolls to the right this time. He was to the left, to the left. Now he's to the right, to the right. Hits Julian Mandujano. Rajas keep moving the chains, looking good. And they'd eventually convert inside the red zone. Abraham Acuna totes that in for the touchdown. First score of the game, Rajas up 6-0 after the missed PAT. Indio defense forcing Rialto to punt. And this did not go well for Rialto. I, they were 0-3 coming in, and you could see why in their performance. That's a major loss of yardage, setting up the Rajas inside the 10. They go to Acuna again. He scores. Indio gets their first win of the year, 27-7 the final over Rialto. Rajas are 1-3 on the year. All right, let's go to our scoreboard and look at some results. Palm Springs in OC against Canyon. Indians fall to 2-2, two two, losing 23-14. And the Desert Mirage Rams, they improved to 2-2. Two and two. They get a win 21-7 against Hamilton. You can find all the scores, recap, and much more on our website at KESQ.com. 
All right, Kenji Ito joining the show now on this brand new beautiful set. Kenji, I mean, how about this thing? Doing sports is going to be a lot of fun here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot of fun, and I'm ready to talk some about some football, to say the least, which we will do after the break as we took a look back at Thursday, headlined by the Storm Bowl between Desert Christian Academy and Desert Chapel, plus week four of Blake's Best. Hey, with Blake's Best, maybe we can get another segment, maybe called Kenji's Corner. Hey, Stick Kenji. around. Stick around. You're watching High School Football on the Best Local Sports Show. Yay. You're watching, watching the Best, best local, local Sports Show. show. Yeah. KSQ, the best sports around. You're watching the best local sports show. Let's go Eagles! Go Conquerors! Yeah! You're watching the best local sports show. Go Conquerors! Welcome back to week four edition of the best local sports show. We're done with Friday's games, but Kenji Ito is here now as we look back at Thursday's contest between Desert Christian Academy and Desert Chapel. Kenji? Yeah, Blake, thank you. The storm bowl between the two holy schools was quite the battle with plenty of big plays. So let's jump straight into it. Desert Chapel hosted their rival, Desert Christian Academy. DC rolling on O. QB Samuel Morris finds Javen Garcia in the end zone, and both schools fight for it, but it is an Eagles touchdown according to the ref. 8-0 DC. Back to the Eagles now. Morris throws a jump ball to Garcia, and the freshman comes down with it for a big game. Shortly after, Morris says to his freshman wideout, hey, let's do it again. And Garcia says back, I got you, and brings it in this time for a TD. Can't believe Garcia is only a freshman. Now it's time for DCA to conquer now. Down 14, Jaden Hurling keeps it, runs toward the camera, a perfect shot, and gets an untouched to make it a 14-7 ball game. More DCA now. Hurling, he automatically rolls right, and he throws up a prayer ironically, and finds Judah Garrison, and he outlasts the defender and gets in for six to put them within one. That wouldn't be the only action from Garrison. Eagles in the red zone, and Morris steps up in the pocket and tries to connect with his wideout, and Garrison picks it off, and like famously Chris Berman says, he'll go all the way. 2014 conquers. Both teams would light it up in the second half as DCA comes out on top, winning 47 to 26. Now, I also wanted to mention Cathedral City was supposed to play on Thursday, but their game against Canyon Springs was postponed to Saturday at 6. I'll, have, uh, I'll be sure to have coverage for you then, and I'm re really looking forward to being in the Lions Den for their home opener. All right, Kenji, thank you so much. Time for Blake's Best. The thing that stood out to me this week, well, it was defense. A lot of defensive highlight plays, interceptions, fumble recoveries, a ton of great defensive plays this week, many of them turning into touchdowns the other way. Look, offense gets a lot of the love on the highlights, but I was impressed with all the great defensive plays this week from many of our local teams. Defense wins championships, and we saw a lot of game-winning plays this week on that side of the football. So shout out to the defense, Blake's best for week four. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Best Local Sports Show. Thanks to our hardworking team who makes this all possible, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. News Channel 3 is now available on any of these streaming services. Watch live and on demand.